Welcome everybody into this new video of the TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you is to setting up some payments without the SSN in 2024. So the Shopify payments is the Shopify build and processor allowing you to accept credit cards and other payment method. So setting up without an SSN can be tricky, but it's possible. So let's go directly into our steps. You have the link to download the description guys, so we can all get started directly for free and have an actual huge deal later on. Now that you have access directly inside the Shopify, let's first of all start by having the eligibility requirements. So ensure that you meet the eligibility requirements to do this process. You need to be located into a country where the Shopify payments is enabled. Now, if you don't, of course, you can always go into the web hub and go into settings. You can have a virtual office into the place where this one is enabled. I'm going to open any tab and into my new tab, let's go for Shopify payments eligibility or country eligible countries. So as you can see here, we have this link of the supported countries for the Shopify payments. So far, right now, we are only have availability of this um, that are directly in here. So make sure that you are inside here. If you are not inside here, you want to make sure, of course, that you have an actual uh, office, virtual office to get started. With that. For example, let's say that I want to have a virtual office in this pain. So I open a new tab to go for virtual office in Spain and I have virtual office in Spain. So I now have access to a virtual office and I can use this address to add it into Shopify. For that, I'm going to focus here into the settings of the Shopify and directly here into the Shopify, I'm going to focus into payments. Now that I have added a virtual office, I can go back into payments. On enter payments, you should see that now you have access to the Shopify payments to manage all the payments in the Shopify. So to get started, you could go here and switch to Shopify payments and activate the Shopify payments. So after you get started here, you can start by creating a Shopify account. So after you have set up your account, you can navigate directly to the payments as we did before here. During the setup, you'll be prompted to enter your business information. Instead of an SSN, you can use your employee identification number if you have one. You can apply for an EIN for free through uh, the IRS website. So this number is essential for tax purposes and can replace your SSN. So to get started, I'm going to go here to submit my details and go here to set up my Shopify payments. So let's say, for example, that I am an individual. I haven't registered without any legal idea just running the store and my name. So go for next. I have the first, the last name, the date of birth, the date, tax certification number, the email, the phone number, the residential address, and the province. So I choose here the information is required to verify the person identity. So in my case, I'm going to go for an IF get number online. So here's a tax identification number of the actual country I'm currently using. In this case, it's a Spain. So is it possible to apply for a country to generate in Toronto, for example? Yes, we can, of course, do this process, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to scroll all the way down and try to see how we can apply for an appointment and to get a post my very first element. Now, this uh, identification number is for paying some taxes. That's the reason why you want to make sure they have a virtual office and then you do have access directly into the actual element of the USA. Now, USA is one of the most easiest ways so you can get your SSN uh, taxed identification ID. So let's say, for example, that I go open and tapped and let's go for taxed USA apply. They can help you to, let's say, use this SNN number to exempt from an actual tax to ITN element. So make sure that you have enabled a really confident place to do this process and you can add it directly here into Shopify. Once you have added this process, this is going to be asking you to add in the store details. After that, you can of course use a review and then you can now start to get paid. Additionally, if this one didn't work for you, what you can do is to go directly here into settings and instead of choosing an actual Shopify plan, I'm going to go here into payments. On enter payments, what you can do is to look out the element that says see all other providers. So here, what I can do is to look out, for example, let's say that I wanted to enable and want to receive payments from Apple Pay, from MasterCard, and Visa, for example. So in my case, the best solution for me should be aid in payments. And those process should be done much more faster. So choose the one that best suits for yourself so you can enable that. 
So guys, with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more great elements of how you can get started using this kind of stuff, the Shopify payments, and all the alternative solutions. Once again, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.